Barry Morgan. I'm doing a tour for the Chamber Music Federation. It's a tour of concerts uh, playing the piano. It's a little bit different from the usual type of tour, though. I'm taking my own grand piano uh, to take music to places where normally uh, this sort of music wouldn't be presented. Quite a few problems can arise when you're humping a grand piano around on the back of a car. Um, even just parking uh, um, had one or two scrapes with local parking meter maids and so on, but they usually respond to a bit of uh, persuasive talk. I specially designed a trailer for this tour. This is a trailer with a sort of lid on it with a hinge at one end. You just lift up the hinge and get four or six strong men and slide the piano out on its belly, put it on the ground uh, to tilt it on its side onto a little trolley, and then we wheel it in to wherever we're going to be playing. The whole operation takes perhaps an hour, give or take a few broken thumbs. Of course, the piano has a massive cast iron frame and weighs about three quarters of a tonne. Uh, it looks pretty solid, but in fact we had to handle it like a newborn infant, complete with swaddling clothes. It was wrapped up in blankets and sitting on top of a couple of mattresses, and I think perhaps we should have called it Margan's boudoir move instead. The outside is highly polished. We had to take a lot of care that none of it got scratched. In this type of presentation, it gives you a chance to talk about the music, just offering general pointers, not in any complicated analytical way at all, just the sort of things to listen to or perhaps a little bit of background about the music. I think there's not enough young people coming to the more formalized type of concerts because you see an artist come out complete in his tails and stiff collar and he appears a very distant sort of person. He takes a formalized bow and sits down and plays Beethoven all night, then takes a bow and leaves the stage. There isn't a great deal of contact. In this type of presentation, the audience feel that they have actually met the performer instead of just going along and seeing or hearing a performer. So it becomes much more of a social, enjoyable occasion instead of something of a ceremony. I like to include a couple of New Zealand compositions on my program. I'm always pleased by the impact which Douglas Lilburn's Sonatina has. I personally feel that this is closely identified with the New Zealand landscape and light qualities.
series of contemporary works, which you would think for an uninitiated audience would be heavy listening, but it was surprising how they seemed to take to these works. The Jenny McLeod, which is actually called Piano Piece, 1965, it's a big piece, it's difficult to play, it has a lot of notes in it, and uh, has some very strong music as well as delicate atmospheric sounds. Jarring or bumping the piano is bad for it. It can upset the tuning, or if it received a heavy knock, of course, it could even possibly fracture the iron frame. So whenever the piano was being lifted or set down on the floor or on the ground, we had to be extremely careful. There were several places where I was still putting the piano together shortly before the performance, but in general, we managed to start on time.
I suppose we covered perhaps 1,500 miles on this trip within the space of two or three weeks. The constant stimulation of new audiences, new situations, and performing keeps you going. I really do like being away, but probably by the end of three weeks, when you've been travelling and playing and constantly on the move, it's, it's pretty good to get back and see Wellington again. Thank you.